Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Waking Up with Richie. Today's episode 26, so grab a coffee and let's get right into coffee and current events. Okay guys, well I did just get a brand new lens for my camera, so if the video looks a little different, that is why, but let me know what you guys think about it. So let's get right into the first current event. The first current event that I found has to do with a mysterious metal structure that was discovered in a remote area of Utah. Now the Utah Department of Public Safety was looking for bighorn sheep, and they were basically just counting them to get the numbers in order, and they discovered a mysterious tall, rather large metal structure that was reflecting light. And this was in a location that was very remote, very hard to get to. So they decided to land and go explore the structure a little bit. I'll attach a couple pictures right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now after some research, I found a guy on Instagram that actually found out where the structure was discovered. And he went out there with a couple buddies and kind of investigated the structure and I believe he even climbed on top of it, but I'm not sure about that. Basically, he did a close-up of the structure and revealed that it's actually stainless steel plates that are riveted together and it's sawed into the rock. Now there's actually saw marks of the triangular structure on the rock that it is planted in, so this just proves that it was man-made and put there by a human rather than some other natural occurrence. It also has rivets on the side of the structure which show that it, it's man-made. Now Heavy D Spark said underneath this Instagram post that it turns out the mystery monolith is actually just an insanely creative piece of metal art. Bravo to whoever did this. Now it's actually illegal to install structures on federally managed public land. Now the Utah DPS helicopter pilot actually spoke on this situation and he said it was about the strangest thing that he's ever come across in all of his years of flying. So pretty interesting guys. There hasn't been much news about this. I've really had to research and find out more about it because nobody's reporting on it anymore. But I found out that it's actually a piece of artwork according to heavy D sparks on Instagram. So what do you guys think about that? Let's move right on to the next current event. So the next current event that I found has to do with Scotland. And I have a lot of family heritage in Scotland and I've always wanted to travel and see Scotland. So this kind of stood out to me. Scotland is now the first country to allow universal access to free female sanitary products. Basically this means free tampons and free pads for anybody who needs them in universities or other public establishments. The Scottish Parliament voted unanimously for the bill on this past Tuesday. Ultimately, the implementation guidelines will be up to education providers and local authorities to ensure that these products are available for free to those females that need them. So that's great news, guys. Um, I think all women would enjoy this and appreciate this bill, and I think more countries should follow in the footsteps of Scotland. So let's move on to the final current event. So the next event has to do with Tesla. Recently, Elon Musk announced that his Class 8 semi-fully electric truck will be able to travel 621 miles per charge. Now this was announced by Elon Musk at the 2020 European Conference on Batteries. And as of now, Tesla is currently taking orders and reservations for their semi truck, which is advertised to travel from 300 to 500 miles per charge. Tesla's new battery system uses cells that are structural members of the entire pack. So this new battery has a higher density which weighs less and can potentially increase range per charge. Most of the leading trucking companies including Daimler, Navistar, and Toyota are investing in hydrogen fuel cell systems. These companies argue that hydrogen fuel cells are actually lighter than batteries and they are quicker to refuel. Now Tesla is already receiving reservations for their class 8 semi truck 
from companies such as Pepsi, Walmart Canada, and Pride Group Enterprises. Now the list price of Tesla's semi-truck ranges from $150,000 to $200,000, and Tesla plans to have this semi-truck in production by the end of this year. So we'll see how that goes. What do you guys think? That is that's over 120 miles more than my Honda Civic can get on a full tank of gas. So if Elon can make that happen with his company, then that will completely change everything in transport. So I know I go kind of back and forth with Tesla, but I, overall I think Elon Musk is a really interesting guy and inspiring and I'm really happy to be growing up in this generation where we have such a monumental earth mover like Elon Musk. So what do you guys think about those current events? I hope you like them. Now let's move into my kitchen because I'm going to be making my first ever cheesecake and I wanna show you guys the process. So I'll see you over there. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be making some cheesecake. I've never made cheesecake before. This is my first time making cheesecake. I'm kind of nervous and I don't have everything that I need but we're gonna improvise and we're gonna make it happen. So. To let you guys know what you'll need to make this cheesecake, you'll need a box of graham crackers, some sugar, butter, four and a half packages of cream cheese, salt, sour cream, vanilla extract, flour, and a whole carton of eggs. So in all, you'll need about seven eggs. So those are the ingredients that you'll need to make this cheesecake. Watch me do this. First thing I'm going to do is make the crust. So I didn't buy a store-bought pie crust because I thought that would just take away from the whole homemade feel of it. So I'm going to make my own pie crust. Watch how I do this. I don't have a food processor. I'm going to be using my Nutra Bullet. Okay, so first I'm going to take about 18 graham crackers. This is one full package of graham crackers. I'm going to get the crackers like this and then break them in half. So first we're going to ground these up. Try to break them up a little bit. Okay. We're also going to add a quarter cup of sugar to this. So here is about three more tablespoons of melted butter. And we're also going to throw some cinnamon in there. I'm going to say about half a tablespoon. Just like that. All right. Well, here's our crust. Looks pretty good to me. So you guys want to use a springform pan when you're making a cheesecake because you want to have those clean, sharp edges. And a spring form pan basically just means that the sides come off. So this little switch right here will allow the bottom to drop out and the sides to come off. So let me show you guys what your first step is going to be for making this cheesecake. You guys can see this. We're going to empty our pie crust into our pan. Okay. Then we're going to get a small glass. You know, I think I'm going to use my Waking Up with Richie mug. So then you're going to just smush it out, and flatten the crust out on the bottom. So it's evenly placed all over the bottom. Okay guys, well, this is what you want your pie crust to look like on the bottom. You want no open spots on the bottom and you want to try to stretch it up along the sides as much as you can. So now I'm going to throw this into the oven, a 350 degree oven for eight minutes. Now this is just to harden up the crust a little bit and make it kind of solid. So when you pour your batter over the crust, it doesn't seep through it or anything like that and kind of incorporate with it. It'll actually be the crust and then the batter separate once it's finished. So you guys will see that, but yeah. I'm going to let this bake and then we'll get ready for the batter. Okay, now we're going to start blending our cream cheese together. So this recipe that I'm using calls for four and a half packages. These are eight ounce packages of cream cheese and they're also room temperature. They're not melted or softened. They're just, they've been sitting out of the refrigerator for about two hours. So 
They're, they're pretty good room temperature. I'm just gonna add these into my mixing bowl. So there's one, two, there's four, ooh, and then we're gonna have to cut the last one in half. So just like that, and we're gonna cut it in half. Like that. This looks like a lot of sugar because it is. This is one and three quarters of a cup of sugar. So we're gonna add this in and then mix it around. Okay, now we're gonna add a half teaspoon of salt. So here's our third quarter of a cup of sour cream. And you wouldn't think that sour cream would taste good in something that's baked, but it really does. And I used to use this trick when I made a lot of cakes back in the day when I was in like middle school. Sour cream makes everything more moist, so remember that. Alright, there's our sour cream. Now we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, my favorite ingredient. I love this stuff so much. I remember when my nanny would make cookies or cakes or pies and she would use this stuff and I could smell it all the way from my bedroom and it just brings me back to my childhood so I love me some vanilla extract. Now we're going to slowly add our three tablespoons of flour. Now the flour just helps to kind of meld it together and hold it all together so add it slowly or if you don't it'll make a mess. So we're going to add the eggs in one by one while we're mixing it. Okay, <laughs> well our batter is finally ready. So let me show you guys what to do now. So now, we're gonna pour the batter in the cake pan. I'm making such a mess. We're gonna pour the batter in the cake pan and we're gonna send it in the oven. So, let's see how this goes. Like I said, I've never made cheesecake before, but the video that I watched did not look this liquidy, so hopefully this turns out good. Cross your fingers for me, guys. I really hope this turns out good. I have a good feeling that it will, but we're gonna pour it into our mold now, so. So let's try to get the rest of this batter up in here. We didn't just make it to waste it, right? We made it to eat it. And this cheesecake is for my mom and I tomorrow for Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm really hoping it turns out well. I want her to be proud of me. I want her to enjoy this. And I plan on leaving it with her if she really likes it. So it'll be a nice little gift for her to enjoy as well. We all gotta support our moms out there. You know, moms are important. So there we go. Okay, so the next and final task, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. I saw this on so many YouTube videos, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy it. What you wanna do is make kind of like a cradle out of aluminum foil, so. So kind of like crisscross them like that. It's literally the tightest fit ever, but the purpose of the water bath is so that the cheesecake doesn't have a crack on top of it once you finish it. You want it to look super aesthetically pleasing and you don't want a big old crack going across the top of it. So now we're going to throw this in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, and once the 10 minutes finishes, then we're going to set it on 300 for 40 minutes. So stay tuned guys. What do you think about this video? Let me know. So this is how it looks, straight out of the oven. All right, so we're gonna set this down and let it cool off. Okay guys, well, here is my cheesecake and I wanted to show you my first time cutting into it. So first I'm gonna take off the edge of this split form cake pan. Lift it. Okay. Ooh, 
Come over here, show them the edges of it. Come over here. Show them. Look at the perfectly cut edges of it. Yummy, okay. All right, now let's cut into it. I have my knife right here, soaking into some warm water to warm it up. We want a super even cut. Okay, here we go. Ready? all about the clean cut. I'm so nervous. I hope it's good and finished and completed. Here is the cake, the cheesecake. And now I got some whipped cream with the topping. Okay, so we're gonna try it right now. Okay, let's get some whipped topping on there too. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised. Wow. It's really good. Let me cut you a piece. That was really good. So I succeeded in making a cheesecake. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>